Hi Storytime friends! It's Miss Tara from the Warnersville Public Library. I hope that you're having a fantastic start to your Thursday. So what we're going to make today is a wonderful fish puppet. This fish puppet craft is great for doing little puppet shows at home. It's also just fun to pretend that you're in an underwater world. So in order to make our fun fish puppet, you're going to need one page of construction paper, so I used orange. One page of another color of construction paper. You're also going to need a popsicle stick, Ooh, a wiggle eye, which I'm having a hard time getting off the table, <laughs> right here. You're gonna need some school glue and two markers. I used blue and green. Okay, so let's make this really fun fish puppet together. So here's my example. We're first going to take our first color of construction paper, whatever color you'd want your fish to be. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place my hand in the middle of my paper. And I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm going to draw around my hand to get the shape for our fish. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now you can round off the edge of your hand as well. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take a color of pink construction paper. You can see that I already did my practice over here and we're gonna cut a square out of our paper. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and take your pencil again, and we're gonna go ahead and just draw a small heart on our pink paper. This is gonna end up being our fishy's lips. Okay, so next, let's take our scissors. Let's first cut, cut out the fish's lips. Try your best to stay on the lines, but if that's not possible, that's okay. Okay, so we've got our lips. Next, we're gonna cut out our hand shape. Don't be afraid to cut extra scraps off if needed. Okay, let's go ahead and move your scraps to the side. Now, we have our fish shape, okay? So you're gonna want the thumb to be on the bottom. And I used my left hand, by the way, to trace. So if it's easier for you to use your right hand to trace, that's A-OK -okay too. So, if you have a lot of lines showing, like I do on this side, that's the side you're gonna glue your popsicle stick on. So let's go ahead and get our school glue. And we're gonna put a little glue right at the bottom of your thumb. We're gonna go ahead and stick our stick down into the glue and press down, press, press, press really good so that it sticks. Okay, then we're gonna gently flip this over because we know that our glue is still drying. And we're gonna go ahead and put our eye on for our fish. Okay, so let's put that right about here. Little dab of glue. And press down so that your eye sticks. Okay, finally for gluing, we need to glue our fishy's lips on. So we're gonna put that 
sort of near the eye on the bottom part of your hand. Okay. And we want the point on the heart to be pointing towards the eye. So we want the bubbly part of the heart to be out. So that it looks like we have kissy fish lips. Okay. So our fish puppet is now assembled. The last thing that we have to do is decorate it. So I'm gonna first take a pen and I'm gonna draw some gills on my fish. I think you can see it well, right here. See? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so if you wanna make some gills, you can make them as half circles or smiley faces, just like that. They almost look like ocean waves when you put them together. Okay, then I'm gonna take my blue marker and I'm gonna draw some circles on top of my fish and color them in. Now, if you have sequins at home or glitter, anything, streamers that you could put off the back of your fish, that would be really cool to see too. And we would love to see your projects in a picture in the comments under our video or if you're watching from YouTube, if you just want to comment about what you did on the fish. And then I'm going to take my green marker and I'm going to just add some little polka dots. All right, and there you have it. That is how you can make your very own fish puppet. Just give him a little time to dry and then he'll be ready to swim around the house or even be ready for a puppet show. Thanks so much for watching our video today, friends. We had a great time making a craft with you, and we look forward to doing another craft video with you soon. Bye.